Hi guys, it's Kyle from Regrettable Props, and today I'm showing you how to make the Lawbringer Pauldron. I know it's taking me a little bit to make it, but we'll do a quick tutorial on just how to do the shaping of the template and gluing it all together. I'm not going to be going through any of the painting or sealing process or Dremel work. You guys can obviously take that into your own liberty for doing it. I've done many videos in regards in the past, or at least segments from videos, going over that part. So anyways, I'm just going to be showing you how to make this pauldron. Anyways, I'm going to be providing the links in the description to where you can download the templates as well as the list of the materials, but for sake, I'm only using hot glue and 5mm craft foam or floor mat foam. You're going to want to trace the left side onto the template and then obviously, sorry, trace the left side onto your foam and then obviously flip it over for your right side. And then once you have that traced out, you're obviously going to cut it all 90 degrees. There's going to be no 45 degrees cuts on this template so then once you have it all cut out you're going to heat it up using either like a toaster oven on broil setting or a heat gun or a blowtorch. It A helps seal the foam and B helps us shape the foam by allowing us to bend it and holding it into like a curved shape until it cools and then that makes it easier for hot gluing the pieces together. Obviously you use contact cement. I don't have very good contact cement brands near me so I just use what I have and is readily available and that's hot glue. After heating them you're going to want to glue them slowly inch by inch since it's a curved shape you're not going to want to do the whole thing at once and I was a little bit sloppy when I hot glued it myself. After doing that we're going to trace out these flaps or pieces that flare out from the foam of the pauldron so I'm providing the top and the bottom obviously the top ones will go on the top and the bottoms go go on the bottom so you're going to trace it out onto 5 millimeter foam or 10 millimeter if that's what you used and then you're going to place it on top of the foam you're not going to put the edge against the edge you're going to place it on the top of the foam if that makes sense to you and once you have everything glued, this is what the vinyl shape is going to look like. Obviously, you can go further with this, adding spikes, round pieces, faux rivets, uh, you name it. Obviously, cleaning up that seam, using like quick seal, dremeling, sanding off the texture. There's many further steps that you could take this. Obviously, I was just doing this really quick to get the templates out for you guys. So you here you guys can see it, what it looks like with my helmet. The dimensions of this template from the width from the two edges is approximately 10 inches and from the top of the flap to the bottom of the flap it's about 9.5 to 10 inches to give you guys an idea if this is too small for you i would suggest doing a mock paper template with trying to adjust the size of the pdf uh, or to scaling it up or down that way you can make it more appropriate for what you needed to do obviously if you can you can shrink it or make it larger if needed anyways this has been kyle from regrettable props stay tuned for next week's video or later in the week i'm gonna try and get them out pretty quick the templates are once again linked in the description as well as the materials used and i hope you guys have a good day